Hey y'all, this is Laura J at Rora R A U R A A A A A on YouTube and one less A on Depop. Woohoo! So, without further ado, we are getting into this video, which I did as a live stream, but unfortunately, I did it um, as a live stream with no sound. So, I'm putting it up again and can give you some more details um, through the microphone. So, all right, y'all, get ready. All right, it is pink season, y'all. Oh my God, look at that. She comes out with an ex vintage express dress on. Yeah, baby. Oh, she's, she's stuck. She pulls it together. And let me be quiet so she can do her thing. pair of Karen Scott heels and the pair I'm wearing will probably be on my Depop because they're a smidge too small so I will keep rocking the red Ooh, go caps <laughs> and then list the you know more I don't know magenta ones to Depop Here I am wearing a vintage cream corset by the brand Carnival. It is union made and I'm wearing it over the express dress for a super hyper feminine look, a coquette lolita look. I just thought it would be a dainty look I don't do a lot and perfect for Valentine's Day. So you have the little bit of lace, a little bit of lingerie and you're wearing um, the corset on the outside, which is very trendy. Okay, go girl. Look how cute Lily is. Oops, these Armani Exchange leather pants are next, and I cannot believe that there's no sound to this video because these pants are truly loud, loud, loud. They're like swishy sweatpants, except for not sweatpants and sounds like wet shoes going down a hallway. Yeah, these pants are by Armani Exchange again. And of course, these red kitten heels are by the brand Karen Scott. Woohoo! Well, I can't say for certain I knew this was a trend, but mob wife aesthetic makes sense because we are all just trying to be warm in the winter and, you know, ugh, leopard jungle cheetah print has been coming around. You know I'm a big fan of that. Um, I like my pointy shoes, even if they're kitten heels. This is so mob 
mob wife aesthetic. And you know what? It's 2024, so it could be mob lady boss. Oh, okay. So, yeah, this is my Jones New York reversible faux fur coat. It's giving super freaking nefarious money vibes. <laughs> Um, just kidding, but yeah, definitely a thick winter jacket, and, um, definitely keeps me warm, and I'm actually wearing it right now, woohoo, so, I love this coat, and I usually wear it on that side, because I don't want to get the faux fur messed up, and it's a lot warmer, so. What do you think of these Zara freaking pink denim jeans? They are so pink. They are so Valentine's Day. I don't even wear jeans and I'm wearing them. I swear that little tag's gonna be cut off. Anywho, if I don't keep them, I have got to get some more things listed to my Depop. So, well, maybe I'll do that. So yeah, be on the lookout for some Valentine's Virginia is for lovers, y'all, but this is an unbranded knitted sweater, so freaking cute and darling, and it has that red heart on the back, which I just love to show off. Instead of wearing a number, I'm a, I'm team red heart. That's my emoji. That's my identifier for my sweater. Oh my gosh, look at Lily. Oh, she fell. And then here, Lily's just so cute. So just bear with me. She slides, feet up in the air. Woohoo, woohoo. She just has a good time here. So I'm just gonna not fast forward this part because she makes me giggle. So look at her. What a good baby. I love my little dog. Buffy the Vampire Slayer vibes. So, alright. Okay, I'll probably fast forward a little bit through this part. Okay. one was so exciting and I cannot wait for the next little look. 
work that we do. And then here's Lily doing her thing yet again, which I did fast forward. Do -ba -do -ba -do -ba -do. What a good girl. <laughs> There's her pee bag that she needs to go on whenever she needs a place to sit. Oh, and this is by the brand Tiara. And I love this sweater. This little heart sweater was such a good find for Valentine's Day. And then here's a little crop top that will probably be listed because I don't really wear um, skimpy things like that too, too often. But I guess maybe now that I'm single, who knows? Yeah, no. Oh, look at Lily. Woohoo! Can't wait for the next look. And here we have these Eddie Bauer jeans. Yep, strut, strut, turn and face. Uh oh, have a rat tail. Uh oh, I just noticed that. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, after she fixes it, hopefully she will rock it. I have confidence. Do I? She, she's going away. Nope. She's grabbing a purse. Woohoo! Yeah. All right, come back. What the heck? I'm going to fast forward this if I don't come back soon. Okay, and here's the tiniest, tiniest little mini skirt or tube top, but pretty sure it is reversible. So that was pretty exciting. So yeah, just showing you the other side that I will also be getting into in a moment, which is in the next scene. So yeah, this is very Buffy the Vampire Slayer, but then this is the typical Aurora twist because I just got my kitten heels on and because it's winter for sure I am wearing socks yep yes okay I said something all right she's gone she's gonna come back and show us the black side woohoo And here's some workwear with some pinstripe trousers by the brand Casper. Super chic, super professional. Dare I say, day tonight. Ooh, 
it's a skirt. So there's also this Abercrombie and Fitch skirt that I thought was super dainty, you know, um, so kind of a nice, sweet little look if you wanted to go a little, um, cottage or fairy or preppy, this would be a nice feminine little piece to add to your Valentine's Day outfit or inspo. Yeah. Christmassy socks because unless only if you look at the heel can you tell that they are Christmassy so they look pretty good for pink season aka the lead up to Valentine's Day as well woohoo Draper time. So this is a vintage red robe and there's nothing um, much more to say about that. So I'll just let the walk do the talking. Super feminine chic, more bodycon, um, you know, exposed back type of dress, but perfect for date night. So cute. This one might even look good with like a turtleneck underneath.
dress, y'all. Little black dress. Yay. Woohoo. sometimes it looks like I do the piccolini when I do stuff like that so shout out to Fred Astaire and Ginger Rogers but not shout out to the piccolini and shout out ballroom dancing okay that's all what a good ballroom dancing dress dress <laughs> and here's the grand finale I bought this one on Depop in consideration um, for my wedding, but I'm not getting married anymore, so, that, yeah, so I'll probably get it listed on Depop, so, you know, um, be on the lookout for that, and it's by the brand A-C-A-C-I-E, I'm not sure how to say it, um, but here you can see me playing princess in it. Alright, awesome. Thanks, y'all. Check out this dress. Oh my gosh, I just... This wasn't gonna be my the wedding gown. This was just an option. So, oh, sigh, sigh, sigh. Anywho, but still, beautiful option. Still secondhand, just from Depop, not the thrift store. Bye.